Hello everybody and welcome back to Mr. P channel. In the previous video I tested Moonlight streaming app on the Chromebook device. If you want to check this video out, I'll leave a link in the down description below if I will remember. And in this video let's check if you want to do this kind of gaming that you stream your games from your Windows computer to your Android enabled Chromebook using a Parsec cloud gaming app. So Parsec, I already covered Parsec in, in a couple of videos. Um, I'll leave the link if I'll remember to all these videos in the down description below. Basically Parsec is an app and a Windows software, which is when you install this app on your Windows computer, it makes a Windows computer as a host. And if you install this Parsec app on numerous devices <clears throat> like Raspberry Pi, Android devices, and etc., it makes that device as a client. So um, this is gonna be my client. <coughs> Excuse me. This is going to be my client and this is going to be my host. To install Parsec Android app, you need to sideload. Obviously, you cannot sideload anything to a Chromebook unless you turn your developer mode on. To turn developer mode on on a Chromebook is very simple. You just follow the steps and it's easy to do. I'll leave a link in the description below to a tutorial where I'm showing how I enabled developer mode on my Chromebook device. So go check that out. Um, uh, enabling developer mode on a Chromebook device is not vary that much. It's just a different layout of the keyboard. Can be, your, your keyboard layout can be different. Your power button can be in the wrong place. Well, not wrong place, in a different place than mine. But is the principle how to enabling developer mode on a Chromebook devices is pretty much the same. So. If you follow my video uh, step by step, um, you'll be able to enable developer mode and enable um, <clears throat> unknown sources, which is very important. What you need to do is enable unknown sources. I covered that as well in that video, so go check that video. It's showing you how to enable developer mode, how to enable unknown sources, and how to sideload side load Android apps. So first thing, um, I'll show you how you can get Parsec client on the... On the Chromebook device. What you need to do, you need to go to a website called Parsec, Parsec, ParsecGaming.com slash downloads. Again, I will leave a link in the down description below if I'll remember. But you go to this website, it gives you a download and you just download an experimental Android APK for Lollipop Plus. So I choose to download this. So right now it's opening the browser on my Chromebook. It's saying what you want to download, it's saying, oh, just leave it in the downloads folder, click save, and it downloads. When you download it, <clears throat> you go to your file browser, go to your downloads folder, and just click, double click on there. Come on, mouse, double click. It starts opening the page, it says, do you want to install this application? Just click install, installs, and all problems, and that's it, you have a Parsec client set up on this um, Chromebook device. On the Windows side, it's similar, you go to the same page, and instead of downloading, uh, I'll show you in this one, this screen, this is closer. Instead of downloading the experimental Android APK file, you just download Windows 7 Plus 64 32-bit version file, install it, run the program. And when you run the program for the first time, you need to log in with your account using a password, which one you can cr uh, create all the way from this page. So why, instead of just on the downloading the files, don't forget to create an account by here by pressing start playing. On the Windows side, if I'll go and open Parsec, it's already connected, it's already showing my computer here on the top. And on the settings, gear icon, and if you click here and click settings, make sure it says hosting enabled. If it's not saying hosting enabled, click the button by here, it's gonna say we enable hosting. When it's all enabled, then that's fine. It means you can your Windows computer is turned into a host, <clears throat> and when you set up everything on a Chromebook device, your Chromebook device is turned into client. So now I'm just gonna go to the app tray, and let's search for Parsec, and open up. First time when you're running Parsec on an Android device, it will ask you to, again to log in with the login details, ID, and a password. It's easy if you know how to create accounts on any websites like Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, etc. It's a similar thing. Create just account and log in. So if I click on this link, 
which is detecting my, my computer because they're both connected with the same account using my password, it connects to my Windows computer. So right now, uh, I can't control this game. As you can see, mouse moves on this screen. It moves the same amount, the same on this screen. So let's say I want to play. So I will open Steam and I'll go in a big picture mode because it's much easier to do gaming. Next thing, I'm going to turn my Moga Power Pro controller on. Hopefully it's going to connect and let's lower the volume a bit down. So I'm waiting until the light stops flashing. I hear the beeping noise. So right now I should be able to control. Here we are. So right now I'm controlling. So library, go to Skyrim, play. Uh, again, I need to press play. Okay, and this play. <clears throat> I press back instead of play. So right now I'm starting Skyrim on my gaming PC and straight away the first issue. No wonder it says this is experimental Android app because it happens that it just crashes. So I need to try to connect again. So it's connected to a host. Let's wait. And I'm connected. So now controller connects again. So press OK, play, go. So I'm continuing the game. The picture quality, what I see here and here, besides brightness difference, is good. It's, it's, it's brilliant quality, what I see on this, on my Chromebook device. <clears throat> so right now, let's wait until game loads. In my previous video, what I tested, Moonlight streaming app, the video delay was just painful. It was, <clears throat> you couldn't play any action games or any, any games because it was about quarter of a second, maybe half a second latency delay. So um, it basically wasn't playable. Even if I connected right now to my same network at home with no one else using a broadband. So let's see how this is gonna work. So first thing, jump test. One, two, three, jump. Oh my God, what a big day delay. One, two, three, jump. You kidding me? Actually, I, I didn't expect that to be that latency. So if right now I wanna play a game only using this screen. So look, see the difference between top screen and uh, and the bottom screen. So let's say I wanna go for, so let's say, oh my God. Look, the NPC, top screen, he's walked away. The bottom screen, he's still walking. Unbelievable delay. Unbelievable. I'm I'm surprised that this is a delay. I might do a bit of tweaking or I need to do a bit of tweaking. Right, okay, let's do a bit of tweaking. So let's go to a uh, system and let's do quit. Desktop. Yes, quit to a desktop. So that's it. The game is turned off on the gaming PC. And what I'll do is totally gonna close app on the Chromebook. So right now at the top PC, let's go back to uh, X Steam. Let's open Parsec. So a bit of tweaking. Uh, let's do a uh, streaming, the same resolution as my Chromebook, which is one three six six by seven six eight. Um, bit rates will do auto. Low latency, yes. Uh, Hmm. Accelerated decoding will decrease latency. Accelerated. 50 frames per second, full screen, etc. 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 So we're done a bit of tweaking on the host side. Let's go and open up Parsec on the Chromebook. Under settings, let's go see what's there. Remote resolution. Alright, I'll leave this all, all by default. No, thank you. Let's try to connect again. So right now I'm connecting to my host and one of the first errors. Errors on <clears throat> experimental Android app pops up every second time. Nearly every time is always errors. If I'm starting this app on my Chromebook and there is no error, 
is something wrong because it, errors must pop up once in a while and another <clears throat> issue with a side loading app uh, or side loaded this app is basically don't do auto updates so if you have a, a newer version they won't gonna update automatically well navigating from a from menus as you can see is is pretty close but what's gonna happen if I'm gonna start the game so which button to press right start let's start the game so I'm, I'm trying a Skyrim again so opens up let's see difference between these this is and again crashed okay open up parsec loading connecting review mirrors are you gonna st jump straight into a gameplay all right no problem so that's what's here okay I right now in this in the same room I can see both screens but imagine you somewhere outside your house somewhere in a, with your, at your friend's house or in a cab or somewhere and you connect you to the Wi-Fi and you only have a Chromebook and you're getting the error message you're gonna start thinking oh is my computer at home actually turned on or is actually got an error message and etc on the screen this is you need to take in consideration if you want to go this way obviously this is a freeway this costs you nothing apart of just electricity and then your broadband cost but anyway let's see how it's gonna perform right now when I've done a bit of tweaking on the main host again if I'm showing you something that you think is total bullshit um, leave a comments below leave answer questions and etc right one two three jump okay it's okay now is it playable most important thing all right <clears throat> latency is still there but it's not that bad it's not that big latency as it was with moonlight but i can change that even better so if i'll go on the homebook go on the settings and do a bandwidth only five and remote resolution uh let's do this maximum fps leave it untagged so right now i change the bitrate on the client and the resolution so whatever the server or my gaming setup kicking and it's crashed is it crashed yes it's crashed Oh well, give me two seconds, I'll quickly see what's what and I'll come back. Right, I'm back. Um, what I had to do is just basically kill the game. It was unresponsive. So when kill the game, start a fresh, um, fresh game. So right now let's see <clears throat> the latency after change the bit uh, of decrease the quality on the client and on the host. So let's see. Um, this is right now in a loading and some kid holding a sword apparently. Come on. Okay. Yes, loading, 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 loading. Come on. Here we are finally. Right, we're back on the bridge. So, jump. One, two, three, jump. Okay, it's not that great. It's still the latency there. And you don't really want to fight a dragon when there's kind of latency happening. I'm just running randomly, sorry. Maybe it's playable, but I won't, I would not play with that kind of latency. <clears throat> so here we are. That was a Parsec cloud streaming for your Android devices. And I was showing you this on my Chromebook because my Chromebook has Android enabled. Thank you very much for watching. Like I said, if you have any questions or complaints or anything, leave in the comment section below and I'll come back in the next video. Bye-bye.